Thanks, mate. Lovely. Six in a row for sure. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Brilliant. Look to me. I don't know if you've seen, but. I don't know, how'd you get on that? I don't know. I have no how'd idea. How'd you prove that one? It's crazy to be here, man. We like to be here enjoying it. Big Chelsea fan, so seeing this, this exclusive BTS for the changing room and the home dressing room, I'm enjoying it, man. It's lovely. We relax, really, as a team. You know, this is what we do. You know, we live for the big moments, uh, the hard work's done. I mean, we've worked at least, what, 72 hours for this? So we're ready. Ready to perform for our country. to be back this place is at home for me obviously but the, the turnout of the fans the support for all the celebs and legends is great really 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 happy to be part of it it's incredible right it's always kick off it's our time it's our time to win but you're in an england strip you've already lost some penalty strip, strip kit fun, whatever. <laughs> you've lost the penalty, you've lost the penalty shootout true so chances are you can lose the game time yeah, 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 odds are in our favor but you know what we win Easy. See this? 5-2. This is going to be lifting the trophy at the end of the game. You're going to be injured by the end of the game. Let's get the countdown going, shall we, everyone? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Remember, it's not just the superstars that make Soccer Aid for UNICEF. You can play your part as well by texting 40, 30, 20 or 10 to 70818. Thompson, good break. Grimmett into Ellen White. And Ellen White's effort goes narrowly over the top of the bar. Back at Stamford Bridge, where he was so successful as a player. You see Bolt. Bolt immediately trying to vie with Stuart Broad. Legends in the first. And a bit of a tussle going on between Sam Thompson and Roman Kemp. And then White putting pressure on Pedicek, who does a little bit of a Cruyff turn, bit of showboating. Oh, and got it. And that's why I call playing out from the back. And rightfully so. And they're targeting Tom Brennan. A little bit cross about that hefty challenge from Patrice Everett. And let's see what England can do from here. A lovely ball in by Wilshire, taken down beautifully by Joe Cole. Oh. We'll come back to her in just a second. Hazard on the Usain Bolt. It's Lee Mack trying to keep the attack alive. But Sam Quek was across and covered the gown very, very well indeed. Nicks the ball and searches off in the hunt for another goal. Oh, oh Lee Mack with a fight. Back. Five Lee star back heel. Out towards the right, looking for Usain Bolt, headed away by Danny Dyer. Now a bit of space here for Joe Cole. Ellen White trying to stay onside. Grennan 
keeps going. He shots through the gap. It's Tom Brennan. It's one. He will not be happy about that, let me tell you. Lane in. We well, found the gap. Ball. Trying to take on Danny Dyer. Wow. Well, the referee's blowing the whistle. It's going to be a free kick. But... And this is in a lovely position for Eden. Adored by Stamford Bridge crowds. Four man England wall. And he's going towards the near post. And James can't keep it out. And Eden Hazard is on the score sheet. The support for him is like a form of worship. And no wonder, because Stamford Bridge is once again the Garden of Eden. And I think it's well. Oh, here we go. But skinning broad, he's got Alessandro Del Piero. Available, willing, and able. That's a lovely bit of combination play from the two strikers there. There's a ball here. Uh oh. And once he puts the afterburners on, you're on massive trouble. It's Usain Bolt trying to keep hold of it. Oh. Somehow that stayed out. Stuart Broad was trying to keep up with him. Well, England did lead the last match at Old Trafford, actually, for 12 minutes, and then surrendered that. They've surrendered the lead here, but they're trying to fight back. Oh, Martin, that is beautiful. Here's Joe Cole, and he's fed Jack Wilshire. Wilshire trying to get it onto his left foot, sits the keeper down. Great chance! a beautiful goal as well. Lovely work down that right-hand side. <laughs> I think he, he's given up the sprinting for a bit. Del Piero. Broad with a really oh, nice. Touch. And then Del Piero wins it back. Broad again. Joe Cole is penalised by the ref. Fourth excellent. Tommy with a little dummy there. Yeah, the uh, Adidas... Uh, World 11 kit is pretty special. Completely tricks Mo Farah. Mo Farah has no idea what's going on there. Yeah, it was definitely a dummy, that, wasn't it? Absolutely. That is the last action of the first 45 minutes. Joe Cole with the opening goal. Edin Hazard equalised very shortly afterwards to make it 1-1 to former Chelsea players. I could have died. You know, shook, you know, better, but I, I think the goalkeeper let me score. Yeah, that's why. That's why I scored. So I've worked, mate, I tell you what, Eddie Nezard running the water. I think I got robbed on a couple of them. Yeah. One of them fouls, so I thought I didn't think it was a foul. But I'm, look, listen, come on, England. Man. I die for the calls. Centering it Great towards ball. Usain Bolt. Somehow Paddy McGuinness has made another save. Like a salmon, if a salmon used mainly its feet. Bartlett wants it played down the left. He missed Soccer Aid last year. He's got Walcott open in the centre. Oh. Oh. Spit that in your diary of the CEO. That is lovely. Was it Walcott was running down the other side screaming for it? Bartlett trying to get away from Messier. Defoe continues. The referee's going to pull it back and give a free kick on the edge of the area. And that is in a dangerous part as well. Jermaine Defoe is lining up a free kick from Edin Hazard territory. It's almost identical. Here's Defoe. See! And it's not a bad punch by Tony Bellew, and he's quite good with those. Hazard being chased by Brazier. It's Edin Hazard! Oh! And Paddy McGuinness had it covered. Defoe still going. Oh, oh Bolts pulled up, and Defoe! 4 2 to England! And maybe those five years of hurt are coming to an end. It's not looking great. Certainly a sight that you don't want to see Usain Bolt going down the touchline on a stretcher. Ball, ball loose inside the penalty area. The ricochet's going to go over the line. Bartlett's done it again. England have a three-goal lead. And actually...
actually, if he wasn't so angry, there was, a, there was an argument he could have got back to that. It sort of trickled in after the event. Oh, Garcia's effort has bounced almost kindly for Wingrove. Oh, now, was there a drag back? There was, and Brazier... Edin Hazard wanted it, was told by Rebecca Welsh, it has to be a celebrity. Billy Wingrove qualifies, chance to drag Soccer A World Eleven back in it, giving them a bit of hope. Bosch, and scoring past the stranded Paddy McGuinness. Well, a little Sue at the end, you love to see it. England have been without a victory for a long time. Walcott trying to seal it. He might just have done. Fed by Carney, finished by Walcott. England have scored six, and they've prevented the World Eleven from winning six. Well, the, last, uh, <laughs> the last manager to lead England to victory at Soccer A was Sam Allardyce. The last player to score a winner was Blake Harrison. Today, England grab the Soccer A trophy back from the World Eleven and restore some pride to the three Lions. Robbie Williams celebrates Frank Lampard, has had some tough jobs in management, but turning this lot around is a bit of a triumph. Five long years, five Soccer A's, but at times they never look like winning, but they have today, and we've got the trophy left next. <laughs> they want Robbie to get involved. Frank Lampard will do it with Jill Scott, the England captain. They raise the Soccer A trophy into the sky, and after 2,191 days, England are Soccer A champions again. I'm going to be honest with you, the game very much changed when I came off for good, but. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be many people at home that would have backed me to be able to hold that trophy on my own. So, again, I'm happy with that. Everybody's been brilliant from the first minute we joined up together. Everyone was brilliant. Ellen White scoring the first goal for a female okay. player. Um, the game was so enjoyable to watch <coughs> and um, really, really pleased for everybody. I've been told about it before, but until you experience it, I don't think you can understand how great it is. And then the other thing is this great cause that we're here for. So. You know, it's a win-win. Everyone's been entertained. I certainly was. Um, and yeah, amazing calls. So I would recommend it highly. And I'm so proud to be part of this, raising money for, for UNICEF and for the children. So yeah, amazing night. And England finally won. Come on. I've lost my voice from sort of chanting and chanting and cheering so much on the pitch. But honestly, running out in front of this crowd, the atmosphere, the the cheering, the noise, the effort, all the players and staff are putting all week to be really special. I've had the best time in the soccer break camp here today, although the score was what we wanted, but I suppose England had to win at some point. But next year, 